Matthew 99B on Twitch said, I thought there would be commentary. Well, Matthew oh, 99B, boy. there is commentary. <laughs> I just had to do a little bit of production work in the background, so I couldn't talk and do it at the same time. But we're back with algorithm uh, semifinal round one coverage. Top three from this round will make it to the next round. So right now we're taking a quick look at the screen of RNG 58. Reigning champion. Reigning champion from TCO 16 of the algorithm competition. And uh, always, always a favorite to, to place high. Uh, going to be fighting for survival. So, how's he doing with that so far? Uh, why don't we take a look at the leaderboard? So, going to the leaderboard right now, we wow. have. Um, look at that. Yeah, we have. Um, uh, oh, I just had RNG to call in it, second place. Yeah, X U D Y H is what I call. X U D Y H yeah. on top. All right. So I, I, I'm always fascinated by the way that. Uh, these members tackle the problems. You know, everyone's different. If you look at RRX, yes, he may be at the bottom, but uh, it looks like he, the only one he's concentrated on right now is a thousand point problem. Now, maybe he thought he could get that out a little quicker than usual, but that means that the 250 and the 500 are just sitting there with zeros at the moment. Um, but once he opens them, the countdown will, will start. All right, well, Nick just threw out a lot of numbers. I think for our viewers who may not know how an SRM works, we should give the overview. Oh, did you not talk about the algorithm while I was gone? No, we, we were doing oh, the marathon okay. match update, which by yeah. the way, Saiho and Chakudai have traded spots three times since we last spoke to you at the Who's top of that right leaderboard. Now? Chakudai on Chakudai. top at the moment. The uh, marathon match is um, as close as I've ever seen it in the TCOs I've been to. Um, but back to the SRM, the ongoing competition, which I know is always a favorite of the viewers. Uh, so. There are three problems that are posed to the uh, participants in the SRM. Each, uh, they are based, um, sorry, the score that each one is worth is based on the difficulty of that problem. The 250 point problem will be the easiest. Uh, the 500 point problem will be a mid-tier difficulty. And then the 1,000 point problem will be very, very challenging. Now keep in mind, this is the finals. So the easy question would probably stump me and Nick uh, for a week. Uh, <laughs> But these guys have already cranked through it. Um, so the, the members, the participants here, will join this competition and not know what the questions are going to be. As soon as they open it and are able to read what the problem is, the t uh, clock starts ticking for that particular question. Uh, so initially, when you first open it, that 250-point question is worth 250 points. But no one ever gets that to full 250. Well, you'd have to submit your solution immediately, <laughs> immediately right? Right. So it starts going down, and uh, based on how long it takes you to solve the problem and submit your code is how many points you'll get locked in at for that particular one. And in the first round, it looks like everyone submitted except RRX, um, but RNG was able to grab the most points. <laughs> Uh, with 236. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, RNG, the reigning champion, had the first submission. Now keep in mind, this is locking in your points. Uh, these haven't been tested yet, except by the by the developers right. here. Uh, so there is going, we'll talk a little bit more we'll about, about testing that, in a yeah. minute. Uh, so at this point, all of the competitors except RRX went straight for the 250 point question. All of them have submitted solutions, uh, some getting you know, a certain degree of points more than others, but all relatively quickly uh, before they even you know, got down under 200 points. Correct. Uh, from there, most of them went in and opened up the uh, 500 point question. Only XUDYH submitted to that problem. Successfully. Uh, oh. Against, at all. against the text, uh, the tests that are currently, yeah. uh, you have to submit and pass the certain test of um, the system test. Yeah, well, a, system a basic, tests are after. Yeah, yeah, a basic. very basic test, right. uh, that just to make sure that there's no you know, syntax errors, it's returning the right values, yeah. all that fun stuff. Um, so you'll also notice that a couple of members, RNG58, Kuniavsky, uh, looks like they may have given up on the 500 point question, they've opened up the 1000 point question. So now the clock is ticking on both of those uh, problems for those particular members. So XUDYH sitting on top right now with two submitted problems, RNG58 right behind him, and then Scott Wu sitting in that third, spot, uh, third place position right now. Uh, speaking of Scott Wu, Let's uh, take a live look in and see what Scott is up to. Scott, representing the United States, the only American competitor in the algorithm competition. So, live look there. I'll be trying to do, um, I'll, be, I'll be trying to stay uh, engaged with the chat here on both Twitch and Facebook because I know we had a lot of, uh, we'll get a lot of viewers who are interested in the SRM. It's usually our most popular event. 
Uh, so Nick's got the Facebook feed, I'll get the Twitch feed, we'll get, be sure to answer your questions. So it looks like, um, yeah, Matthew, uh, Matthew 99B, I see, is uh, commenting that the 250 um, is harder than the 500 in last year in the semifinal. Um, not quite sure what we're getting at here. It looks like this year's 250 was uh, <laughs> knocked down pretty easily. Yeah. Um, but uh, last year, I, I also have to remember off the top of my head what, how the 500 was last year. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we see Scott here. Uh, looks like he is uh, still working on the 500, I believe. As I squint at the screen. By the way, I'm Will Price. This is Nick Castillo. Nick has rejoined me for this part of the competition. Uh, and if you like watching Scott Wu code, you can catch Scott Wu doing commentary in semifinal round two tomorrow. He'll be sitting next to me uh, as well and giving his insights. Uh, always great to have him on. This is amazing. Like the way that they code, uh, they almost type faster than I do just normal text. <laughs> I think they type faster than I think. Right. So. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, excellent work from Scott Wu there. Uh, we're going to jump over to RNG58, currently sitting in uh, second place here. Uh, no major movement on the leaderboards just yet. Uh, still XUDYH on top, uh, working on that thousand point problem with submitted solutions to the 250 and 500. Uh, everyone else still cranking away, trying to get another uh, piece of code submitted into uh, and get some points locked in. We should also explain that this isn't the finals, it is the semifinals, which means that three uh, members will move on to the next round and three members will, uh, their you know, run at TCO will be finished uh, today. Now, also, I did promise when we looked in at the leaderboard a few minutes ago that we would talk about the testing phase because uh, Locking in your score here is not the uh, you know only path to victory. There's a couple. There's a little strategy in this. There's a little co direct competition. Right. So while some other competitions, I know, like for example, earlier we talked about the marathon match and how you can't control what other people do. Uh, and that's still true to some extent here, but you do have a little more agency over how things go in uh, in an SRM. So. After the coding phase ends, which ends in just under uh, 31 minutes, mm -hmm. we will have a very quick break of five minutes uh, where everyone can catch their breath. And then we begin the testing phase. Uh, sorry, the challenge phase. Challenge phase, Ooh. yeah. Well, it's still testing in a way. So in the challenge phase, all of the competitors are able to open up each other's solutions and, um, and run through it and submit their own test case to that code. So for example, uh, RNG58 could open XUDYH's submission and say, I think I found a way to get an invalid response from your code. He can submit that. If he is successful, XUDYH would lose all of his points for that particular problem. And the challenger, uh, in my hypothetical here was RNG, uh, would get 50 points for a successful challenge. Just tack right on, can't lose those points. If you challenge and you're not successful, you lose 25 points. Right. Uh, so we'll, we'll definitely have coverage of that challenge phase live. Uh, that's mo the most fun part. Uh, announcement over the loudspeaker from uh, a very nice voice telling us that there's 30 minutes remaining in the coding phase. Not yet. Oh. There's actually five minutes remaining in the well, marathon is what the oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Yep. There's two <laughs> dual announcements. So 30 minutes left in coding phase right. on SRM. Marathon match has four minutes and 40 seconds left. Saiho, for the record, currently holding the top spot with a 1% lead over Chakudai. Yeah, but they've as been they swapping. Continue. They and be and uh, Vleti has come back in with uh, just just four percentage, or three percentage points behind uh, Saiho. So a dogfight at the top of that one. So coming back into our uh, SRM coverage right now, we're going to take a live look in at Kuniavsky and see what's going on over here. It looks like he's taking the RNG approach as well. He has solved the first uh, problem. He's opened the 500 and the 1,000 point problem as well. Uh, he has opened it a little later, the 1,000 point problem, so he has uh, a better chance to grab some big points here if he can solve it. Kuniavsky is currently sitting on the bubble position. This is a six, uh, a six person round in the algorithm competition. So there are currently six competitors uh, going. Only the top three advance to the finals. Right. So this is, uh, that, that's probably the most uncomfortable spot to be in if you're the competitor knowing you're just outside of uh, the advancement. 
And this is, I mean, this is some speed coding. Yeah, yeah, you need to be fast also in uh, Marathon to some extent, but uh, you, you need to be accurate, you need to code fast, and you have to think of all possible cases of your particular problem. You want to think of edge cases as well, um, and make sure that your code would not fail uh, given any sort of valid input. Any valid input, you should be able to run your code without problem and output the right answer. So, mm -hmm. um, very exciting. It looks like W. Leite is, uh, I think he's done. We see W. Leite walking around. Yeah, yeah, it looks like some of the marathon competitors are saying, I'm, <laughs> I'm in, I, what I, I did is what I, I did. Could. Exactly. Um, so we, that, that officially closes in just over two and a half minutes. We'll give you a rundown of that leaderboard once we have it. Uh, right now, what you're seeing is prob you're probably wondering, uh, am I seeing the right thing? Uh, it looks like Kuniaski yeah, just I has apologize. a problem <laughs> statement up. Uh, that's actually expected. So each of the okay. competitors has a, uh, a notepad that they, that they bring with them right. or, or we provide. Uh, and some like to write out all of their code there. They like to do all of their math in advance and then quickly type it into... Uh, into the arena tool. So you can see, <laughs> funny enough, Kuniavsky's working so hard on his notepad that he is, his computer is about to fall asleep. The warning just popped up. So. Oh no. Not super exciting to watch oh, the screen. Oh no, it went away. No, oh, he, he must have noticed. Yeah. He chickled that mouse a little bit. <laughs> Maybe yes. hit the space bar. So we're gonna jump over now to our current leader in the uh, SRM round, X-U-D-Y-H. And we have uh, some coding going on here. So it looks like, um, Holy crap. It looks like his solution is to, uh, he, he does his coding in Sublime Text, he then brings it over and pastes it to the, uh, to, to the Top Coder Arena platform. That's uh, really open, you can use the tools that you want to use. Right. Now, this is, an, it's, this is a great look in at, uh, at some strategy and some gamesmanship. Uh, because your code becomes viewable during the challenge phase to other competitors, there could, can be, not always, but there can be some value to obfuscating your code and making it hard to read right. so other people can't find, quickly identify how it works and solve the issues. I think uh, if I were coding, and I'm not sure if this would actually work or if it would hurt me, but what if I, you know, if there was like a higher versus lower number and you the variable of it was, you know, switched with that, <laughs> and, they, and someone tried to break your code, would it would it fail? Okay. Uh, you always got to think about things like that. I don't I don't know how they tend to, to work, but uh, <laughs> on another that'd level. be crazy. Yeah, that would be nuts. <laughs> uh, I do see in the Twitch chat, uh, red, blue, green, RBG, just saying, um, just saying that. Uh, asking if we had a view of the notepad. Uh, uh, unfortunately not. I think it would probably be very distracting for the competitors if we hovered over them with a the camera. Yes. So no view of the notepad this year. Uh, just head down and working. So, um, yeah, and Matthew99B commenting that uh, we, he thinks it's just a plug-in and that some of the uh, testing stuff will be removed. Right. Uh, so, yeah, different tools used by different folks. Uh, I won't even pretend that I know all of them. I'll just call them like I see them. So... Yeah. Um, no, no major movement on that board yet. We don't have any additional submissions, uh, so currently we'll we'll jump back to that leaderboard, even though it hasn't changed much. Oh, I'll go. I'll show you that, and then we're gonna change real quick and talk about marathon match briefly. Too many buttons. Just thanks for joining with us while we let the announcement play out over the PA system in the Top Coder Arena here. Uh, the marathon match has just completed 10 hours of coding. We're all giving a big round of applause for everyone grinding that out. Saiho has finished with the most points, but that doesn't mean that he has actually won. The system tests are going to yes, so get started. The system tests run four days on the marathon match solution. Uh, just so everyone, uh, I just want to kind of lay the land out. The three favorites uh, are all relatively close here. Um, so we have Saiho with uh, 92 in the 92nd percentile here. Um, so he's uh, at the top of the leaderboard right now. Chakudai following behind at 90, and then uh, W. Leite coming in at 89. Uh, I would say that those, all three of them are in the range that you can expect uh, they could go up or down. Although this year's problem does have additional elements of randomness in it, yep. so uh, it, we could see bigger swings than we're used to seeing. 
Uh, so marathon match is completed. Uh, lots of movement, probably one of the more uh, exciting finishes for a long race. Uh, Chaku Dai. <laughs> yes. Chaku Dai just walked by us. He just, he's sweating and yeah. he's just, he looks so like relieved, but he also looks like I could use a, use a drink. Um, uh, I think Nick's going to go over and grab the camera and give us a shot of the sure. uh, marathon competitors as they walk off the stage right now. So that was uh, a seamless transition for us right there as we uh, transition here to back to the camera view in the Top Coder Arena. Uh, you see Chaku Dai coming in there. And uh, this is the stage. We actually have a lot of people gathered around congratulating the marathon competitors as they finish up their uh, long grind of a day, uh, 10 hours of uh, optimizing. So it'll be exciting to see how, uh, how that all plays out. You'll fit the final results of those system tests on uh, Tuesday during the closing ceremony. So we'll just let that... Uh, see the scene there for a second you get a nice look at Paul Jeffries uh, after completing his uh, his 10-hour coding session there uh, up on the top you can see uh, Merrick Saigon uh, looks like he might be talking to uh, his countryman uh, Sai Ho uh, who hasn't popped up from his desk yet he might have fallen asleep at the desk after all the work he just put in he's the current leader right now um, uh, there and there he is popping up uh, Oh, he looks exhausted. <laughs> that was quite the day for him. Uh, it was a marathon match in the books. Uh, lots of testing to do. So if uh, anyone would like to speak with any of the, uh, or, or have, have us interview any of the competitors here uh, from the marathon match, if they uh, are willing <laughs> After their long day to jump on, we'll try and do so. Uh, get their thoughts on the problem, what they uh, maybe an explanation of their strategies and approaches. Uh, so please hit us on Facebook, hit us on Twitch. Let us know who you would like to, uh, like us to try and talk to, um, and, and we'll try and accommodate that. So marathon match 2017 all set and we're going to jump right back into the SRM leaderboard where you can see still no progress. So. <laughs> Not the most exciting um, coding phase so far, as we have 20 minutes remaining in the coding phase. Um, XUDYH still sitting on top with the only submission to the 500 point question. Uh, everyone looks like we still have everyone grinding away uh, at the 300 or the um, or the 1,000. Uh, I do find it interesting. Both uh, Scott Wu and X Ray uh, have not yet opened the thousand point question. Uh, I'm guessing that they're looking at the lay of the land and thinking that they have a better chance with uh, what they have put into their 500 point question than trying to tackle the hardest question with only a few minutes left. And at this point, I think some points are better than no points. The leaderboard is so tight. You don't need to win. You just need to get in the top three. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering and, and almost a little worried for RRX to see how this strategy is going to work out for him. Uh, the clock just keeps on ticking. Uh, he's down to 400 points um, for that particular um, problem. Uh, I'm curious if he's going to open up the 250 at least uh, with, with some time left um, if he can't get the thousand point uh, question. I'm assuming he's a little, cl he's pretty close, um, probably missing uh, some use cases, um, but I think he needs, to, he needs to move if he wants to make it to the next round. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you have to question the strategy at this point. Is it worth continuing? I mean, it, clearly he's invested a lot of effort, but is it a sunk cost at this point? Would he be better off going and getting some quick points on the 250? That's what I'm Everyone thinking. else was able to solve that pretty quickly. If he's got some confidence in his ability to move quick, he could at least get on the leaderboard. And if he solves it faster than some of the, the guys in second or third, that quickly catapults him back in. So he does have a good opportunity. Oh, and just like that. Uh, oh, wow. Oh. No, I thought he had opened the question, but I, I saw oh, no? it wrong. No, nope. uh, okay. my mistake. <laughs> Bad call. <laughs> no, so... Low um, price, everybody. Yes, the, <laughs> the most professional and most knowledgeable of all hosts. Very nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we see RRX. I mean, 
I, I really can't understand why at this point you wouldn't go after that 250 point question. You're looking at 18 minutes left in the rounds. I feel like as a developer though, like it's just gonna eat away at you if you like started something and you just, you can't finish it. You're like right there and you're like, I, I, it's something I'm missing, but I can't, you know, find it. And yeah. I think that's, that might be where his head is at right now. Um, Maybe that pride is just coming in where it's like, I need to finish this. Yeah. You know? I mean, if he feels these close, I mean, a submission here where if it passed would catapult him into the top three. So maybe, you know, maybe he's feeling confident that he's you know, right on the brink of getting a, a good submission here. Maybe it's not worth, uh, you know, bailing on this question until it's not worth enough to then, or it's not worth more than that 250 would be even right. if he saws it quickly. Well, again, you got to imagine these are the smartest minds in the world, and if it's taking RRX uh, that's this long to complete the thousand point question, you have to think that uh, RNG, U, uh, XUDYH, and Kunyavsky are going to be spending some time on this problem as well. Mm -hmm. So it looks like uh, RRX right now is um, running through some tests, so it might be feeling like he's getting pretty close uh, to, to having something ready to go. So we're watching, we're watching his tests in real time. Uh, you can see his different, uh, different test cases over there, um, making a couple edits now, so something, something didn't go right. He moves so fast, I can't, I can't even keep up. But yeah, obviously uh, making a couple edits here before he wants to go through and do some more testing. Uh, let's, ju let's jump in, um, take another look over at uh, the defending champion, RNG58. If I can find him over there. So on to RNG58, we can see uh, not a lot of activity on the screen right now. That tells me that he might be uh, crunching away on the notepad. Uh, he he definitely does uh, do a lot of his work on paper and then translate it to the computer afterwards. Mm -hmm. So checking that out. And then we'll uh, go back and check up on uh, our friend, uh, friend of the broadcast, Scott Wu. <coughs> Looks like he's doing some testing right yeah. now. Scott okay, uh, tackling some of the tests. He still has 239 points available on that 500 point question. So if he's able to get something in quickly, that would be good enough to put him in the second place uh, for now, of course. Yeah. And uh, we would just have to uh, wait and see how the challenge phase goes. At this point, the challenge phase is going to be interesting because there's going to be a lot of scrutiny on a small number of submissions. Uh, really, it's just those 250 point questions. Although you have to imagine that everyone's gonna go after that 500 point question from XUDYH. Correct, I mean, solving it as quickly as he did as well, uh, compared to everyone else, you would have to think that he slipped up somewhere. Right, and that, that's another place where gamesmanship can play in the SRM format. Uh, if you feel that everyone else is going to go after that 500 point question, only the first person to challenge is going to get those points. That's you, true. Sometimes it's better to spend your time looking at something else that you think might not be as high on everyone else's target list and not have that competition, a better chance of getting the points. But also if you rush your challenge as well, you could be wrong and uh, could backfire on you. And that's why this is the most, in, this, that's why these are the most <laughs> fun broadcasts. Right. <laughs> exactly. So we're still waiting for that next submission. It has been a little bit. Um, some people are having trouble with the 500 point problem um, and s still have four active uh, competitors mm -hmm. on the thousand point problem. So we've, uh, we we've now moved over taking a look at the uh, work being done by X-Ray. X-Ray currently sitting in fifth place on the leaderboard outside of the top three. Um, 208 points remaining on the 500 point question. Um, and that's got to be disappointing. He got beat out by Kuniavsky by one point on that 250 point question. Oh, wow. So that, that, that's, Hopefully that doesn't come into play, but we'll see. You never know when you have, uh, you know, so few submissions, it can really make a difference. Uh, you know, every little point is going to count in this uh, competition here. Jumping back over to our chat, no one's saying anything. You guys must be just enraptured with the, with, uh, <laughs> the work being done here then. Maybe they're <laughs> scrutinizing the code that they see. And yes. Like, where could where could they have slipped up? Uh, that that I don't know. So, um, not not really uh, any obfuscation going on here. And I, I make that comment every year, and then people usually tell me like, ah, it's probably not worth it. Don't submit it if you're not confident in it. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, that's uh, what we're looking at. So we're going to jump over to our leaderboard once again on this SRM round and see no movement. 
until there's movement. Oh, boy. Just like that, we have a submission on that 1,000-point question from RRX. Look at that. RRX has finally submitted that one. So I bet he has a sigh of relief right now. Uh, he's going to be opening up, I assume, that 250-point question oh look at that oh okay he's so he's yeah now he's going for the low it, but... now he's going for the low-hanging fruit he's gonna try and knock this out quickly let's watch him as he reads well right now he's just gonna be reading it but like you have to imagine that once you have completed that thousand point problem this should look like that's gonna easy... be the confidence boost yeah. right there this is gonna be he's gonna feel super confident about this one Absolutely. so i wouldn't be surprised if he solves it perhaps even faster than rng did but we'll we'll find out yeah, we'll be watching very closely, and I think that's probably the that's the biggest move to happen so far in this competition. So we'll keep an eye on RRX right now, and you know, right now he's consuming the problem, and I guess that means all of you watching at home are consuming the problem as well. Uh, so enjoy tagging along with RRX on this roller coaster as he tries to uh, qualify for the finals in the algorithm competition. I have to say, this is one of like the the most exciting uh, rounds that we've seen in a while. Uh, Usually, we don't see that many thousand-point completions in, in these types of matches. Yeah, and the and the TCO, uh, the, the challenge level is just beyond. Uh, 250 can be as hard as a, a thousand in a normal SRM that we do. So yeah. they can, you know, maybe not to that extreme, but <laughs> it's certainly uh, a, you know, a degrees of difficulty more challenging. So that move from RRX pushes Scott Wu into the bubble position at number four. And it looks like he has started coding. So he's gathered the uh, somewhat of the idea of the problem. I'm sure a lot of problems are pretty similar. It just, you know, the situation might change, you know. Uh, it might be collecting eggs in an Easter basket or, you know, the same could go for, uh, like, some sport, you know. Um, mm -hmm. The idea is the same, but the story might be different. And he has probably deconstructed this problem and uh, understands now what he has to do. Yeah, it looks like uh, we, have, we have a comment line in there. Just uh, He's using it as a guide, it looks like, to uh, help him with uh, digits. So. Creating some constants, probably uh, creating those as constraints to the problem so he doesn't um, fall out of bounds. All right, jump in. I feel like if I click the button to go back to the leaderboard, maybe we'll have something really, really exciting happen again, right? <laughs> Not this time. Yeah. Not yet. So you can see uh, that 250 point question uh, decreasing in value, but RRX still has a good amount of time to earn good points on that. A submission to that problem, a valid submission, and assuming his 1,000 point holds up, that, uh, <laughs> that, that would put him right into the top. Well, sure. you, were, you were talking about uh, attacking that 500-point question from XUDYH, but yeah, I think yeah. the new a target right now is that 1,000-pointer. Yeah, especially since uh, at, least, at least three of the uh, competitors here are going to be familiar, very familiar with that question, having spent so much time on it, even if they haven't submitted. Now, I mean, keep in mind, there's still 10 minutes to submit their code, so right. they, they, this leaderboard still has lots of room to change. Um, but yeah, as they work through it, that's got to be on everyone's mind. So with RRX completing that problem, that puts Scott Wu on the bubble now. So uh, the U.S. could get kicked out early in this one. Oh, I, uh, as a hometown fan, uh, I certainly hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but you know, if if it does, I would be sad for Scott because he's such a great guy. Uh, I would also be happy to have him on the for the finals. <laughs> for the finals, as well. yeah. He's, great, he, he's just as good a commentator as he is a competitor. So. Way better than us. Oh, uh, that's the bar is pretty low. <laughs> so let's, let's check in on Scott Wu. See how he's handling uh, the change in the leaderboard here. Uh, the swap over here. Uh, he has chosen to continue grinding away at that 500 point question. The, uh, you know, he, he could open the 1,000 point, but really, it's At probably too point, late in the game. He's yeah. probably seeing how much trouble that is giving the other competitors here and thinking to himself, no, it's not worth it. i got to get the points where I can. Focus on advancement. That's what's important here. Well, if he completes this and at least, like, uh, at the 200 mark, it, it could bump him up to second place and then mm -hmm. put RNG on the bubble, which would be intense. If the defending champion goes out in the first round, I mean, we've seen it happen before with tourists. We, we have. Tourist will be competing tomorrow, and I'm sure if you follow Tourist on Twitter, he's probably live tweeting this right now. <laughs> oh, no, at least uh, he looks like he's relaxing. I think oh, he's okay. uh, just trying to 
<laughs> gather some uh, intel maybe on how uh, people approach this competition. Maybe he's like, oh, okay, RRX, if I see him in the finals, uh, I probably know what he's going to do. So. All right. So, uh, leaderboard. Looks like Scott's still just uh, making some changes to his code here, trying to get out of that bubble position. We'll go back, see where we're at. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the algorithm semifinal round one competition. XU, DYH, RRX, and RNG58 currently in the advancement positions. XU, DYH, the only person to complete two of the problems. Uh, no one else has done that. RRX is next on the list, but it is because he has completed that thousand pointer, which, is gonna, which could be huge for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, red, blue, green, RBG uh, asked if obfuscation is frowned upon. Uh, to be frank, I don't know what the community feelings are on it. You, I don't know if you've heard anything about it, but um, you know, I don't think it's. Uh, I, th I think it's fair game. It's a competition. Uh, I don't think, however, at this level of competition, mm -hmm. people want to spend their time on that. They'd rather be solving the problem. Exactly. I just think it's a cool topic to talk about. So <laughs> I always mention it. It's uh, it's an avenue you could take. Um, Mick, any action on the Facebook feed? Anyone saying hello over there? No, not yet. Just people joining in, um, joining in, taking a peek at probably uh, where we're standing right now with the algorithm uh, standings. And, uh, yeah. I, I bet viewership will, will peak during the challenge phase. Of it course, usually does. Of course. All That's right. Super exciting. Leaderboard holding strong where it is, but we can expect to see some changes uh, in the next few minutes. I, now, I'm do you guessing. know if we see the results right away or? Uh, well, we'll have the five-minute break, then the testing. Uh, right. Yep. Then, then the testing phase, and I believe I'll need to get the schedule from uh, f from the competition organizer. But I believe we will know tonight who advances to the final. Very round. cool. Well, this is a good. I, there will be a bit of a break, and maybe we'll try and do some uh, some interviews, kind of keep it light, keep it fun, and then come back with the uh, with the serious competition there. Well, this is a good group of uh, members. It, there are, we have uh, Kunyavsky, X-Ray from last year. Like, any of these um, competitors could win mm -hmm. at any point. So uh, they do have six and a half minutes remaining to code. Um, yeah. I think we should check in with RNG to see uh, if he's scrambling to, oh. to get those. I've already queued one up, so oh, yeah? I'm, I'm sorry to overrule oh. you here, but Where what I wanted to point out, what I wanted to point out is if you look at the 250 point question right now from RRX, he's closing in on the time frame right. Uh, right around the same time now that RNG got had a solution and submitted it. Interesting. So let's see how close RRX is to getting that in there at RNG's levels. Um, Looks like not a lot. Looks like there's some notepad math going on there. Probably, yep. You see a still mouse? You know they're working <laughs> on. Uh, last last on year we had a sky cam uh, that was part of the, that was oh, part of the right. venue, so I was able to like, kind of creepily watch them <laughs> and see if that's what they were doing. But now I, I feel like this isn't my first rodeo, so I can kind of tell just from their behavior on their screens. Exactly. So Nick, you want to see um, see RNG 58 screen? Yeah, just to see if he's anywhere close to uh, completing that. Because if he does, he would jump into first place. All right, taking a quick look Looks at what like RNG in the lobby. 58 is up to. Um, you know, so you can see here what the uh, Top Coder Arena lobby is looking like. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's he can see that Scott Wu is uh, testing his 500 point problem. So Scott may be getting close to a submission here as well. Um, interesting, but I, I'm guessing that since there's nothing actively happening here outside of uh, maybe it's just some light scrolling, uh, there's either some math going on, some more notepad math, or um, it might just be biding time until the end of the coding phase, which ends in under five minutes now. All right, who else can we check in on? Let's check in on XUDY. Yeah, let's check in on our leader, our current yeah, leader. Current leader, uh, working on the final, on their last uh, submission here that could get them a uh, you know, solid hold on that first place position, uh, which is you know, solid right now still, but can be tenuous depending on how that uh, challenge phase plays out. Uh, still no submissions uh, as we enter the last four minutes of the competition. So there are no new submissions, I should say. Right. So not a lot of action on XUDYH's screen either. I have a feeling uh, everyone's head da heads down right now. 
Looks like RRX is reaching around the average amount of time that it's taken other competitors to finish this problem. So um, I'm sure we may be seeing a uh, submission pretty soon. All right, let's go back to the leaderboard. I think we're gonna ride, oh wait, we have right before then. All right, CGYH just compiled. Uh, so we might have uh, a submission coming in any moment. Let's cut to the leaderboard and keep an eye on that. We have under three and a half minutes left. And so I think we might ride the leaderboard out for the rest of the. Uh, I think that'd be smart for the rest of this competition because this is this is going to be the fastest way to see it. Uh, we can go chasing monitor feeds and hope we catch one uh, during that submission process, but this is probably the best way to get that holistic view. Right. Uh, as we do at the last three minutes of the coding phase, chat, I'm looking at you. If you have someone you want to see, oh, now is the time. Oh, and it looks like Scott time. Wu has opened up the thousand point question. Well, that, that makes sense. He's obviously not going to submit, but right. during the challenge phase, he wants to at least be familiar with the question so he knows the issues he's looking for in other people's code. Great. I mean, Call. if, if yeah. you were able to submit here, to, uh, to that thousand point question, it would probably be the most impressive thing in top quarter open history. Um, so turn that, blue, turn blue. That tells me that Scott Wu right now has get, uh, decided that the 500 point question is not going to get solved uh, successfully oh, no. by him, and he's just going to prepare himself for that challenge round, and he's going to have to get into, uh, into the top three the competitive way. And uh, it looks like the... Um from the third place down are all in the 200s, so it could be anyone's game uh, considering, like, I'm trying to think because you would have to assume that the 250 point question, all of them have coded that solid. They, uh, so. Mm -hmm. Two minutes remaining now in the, uh, in the coding round of the competition. We will go to a brief break before the challenge phase begins. Uh, during that brief break, we will leave the, this up. Nick and I will take a quick breath so we can call it uh, appropriately. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the leaderboard holding strong. What's so fascinating about this is, I mean, one, it just shows you just how hard these problems oh are. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, and then secondly, the, the other thing that really must jump out to you is based on how many points you gain or lose in a challenge, an unsuccessful challenge can knock someone out of the top three or a successful challenge. Just getting- Oh, here we go. We have a submission on the 250 point question, RRX has successfully, it seems, submitted to the 250 point question, putting him in the number one spot. All right, RNG58 still hanging on in that third place position, getting ready to go as we approach the final minute. Uh, Scott Wu has, uh, apparently, we can't confirm this, but it looks like he's uh, thrown in the towel on the 200 point, or the 500 point question. Uh, just familiarizing himself and kind of getting on his uh, war paint as he goes into the uh, challenge phase here. Um, Kuniavsky coming in down in the fifth place spot. Um, got to guess that he's going to be well prepared for the challenge phase, uh, having had a lot of time to digest both the 500 and 1,000 point questions. Uh, but I, w I would be surprised to see a submission to either of those at this point in the competition. This is amazing. RRX coming from last place to first place, he has uh, his. Strategy seems to have worked. If he, if he can successfully say that he has completed that thousand point question and thought of all use cases, he uh, may be walking into the finals. And that's a, that's a very aggressive strategy, Nick. Very um, aggressive. Yeah, that, that takes a lot of confidence. There are a lot of ways for me to phrase the confidence that takes, but that's the one I'll choose for our broadcast. There you go. <laughs> and that's right it. you are. That's that it. is it for the coding phase. Five minute break, folks. Five minute break. Nick and I will be back in four minutes and 40 seconds, and we'll talk you through that challenge phase and uh, follow along with those competitors. We'll be right back in just a moment, folks.
We are back. Challenge phase begins in just 10 seconds. Will Price here Ooh. with Nick Castillo up, ready guys? to call the uh, challenge phase Very in exciting. the SRM round one. Very exciting. Uh, so here's your last look at that leaderboard before we go in. And why don't we go and follow along with uh, the current leader. Uh, sorry, oh, the leader's changed. I'm sorry, second place, XUDYH in second place beginning his challenge phase. Now, XUDYH was leading for pretty much the entire uh, match. So, um, second place is still good though. I mean, that's all you need. You need uh, first, second, or third. I think he feels and pretty comfortable uh, with that lead. Hopefully, his 500-pointer uh, doesn't get burned. Mm -hmm. So, this is a good time to point out, what was the one with the biggest target for XUDYH? He went yeah. right after RRX's 1,000 point submission. Of course, and, of course. I mean, it's not really surprising. And, you know, the other person I want to keep a close eye on in this challenge phase is the one who's fighting to survive uh, in the fourth place position. So, we're going to get that set up right here as we switch over to Scott Wu and see what he's going after. So he's looking at RNG 258's 250 point problem. Interesting. So that's that's interesting. And I'm gonna guess that's because the, uh, the that was solved so quickly. He's thinking maybe it was uh, maybe there's an opportunity, maybe he missed something. And Scott, I think, isn't going to discriminate very much. He's gonna go after every submission at some point during this 10 minute challenge period. But I also think, uh, to our point last time, that everyone's going to go, Oh, we got a burn, we got a burn. Oh, RRX got back. burned. Whoa, Nick almost knocked my shoulder off. He was so excited right there. Here wow. X-Ray has successfully challenged RRX's uh, submission, 250 point submission. So that was uh, that was a strong move right there that's going to affect the leaderboard. So that pushes RRX to the second It's 250 points, too. We thought that he would have successfully... Right. Uh, well, you, gotta, you have to imagine, he submitted that pretty late in the competition, That's true. so he was probably just trying to get it in there. Um, so giving X-Ray that boost, that knocks RNG58 into the fourth place position. Oh boy. So when we said the challenge phase is going to be important because of how close everyone is, exactly. that shows you right there. So now RNG, our defending champion, Oof. is currently outside of the finals. If he can't get a good, if he can't get a challenge in here, and claw his way back into the top. Now think about that thought process though. As you said, Scott Wu went after RNG because he solved it quickly. Uh, RNG has defended a, a challenge. So it looks mm -hmm. like. So somebody oh, challenged. That, that brought him back up. Yep. Yeah, so uh, that tells me it must have been, yeah. Was it so, X-Ray again? Yep, X-Ray challenged RNG's 250-point uh, question was incorrect, and that knocked X-Ray back oh, out. Oh, no. So these two have now traded positions. Let's see. Oh, that's got to be a huge relief for RNG, huh? Yeah, and I guess a huge relief for Scott Wu because he was thinking of uh, challenging RNG as well. Uh, absolutely. So taking a quick look, uh, live look in at RNG58. Currently looking at XUDYH's 250-point problem, looking for uh, any chinks in the armor that he can exploit and secure his position uh, a little bit more. Man, that is that is crazy. Can you believe it? Just tra trading positions like that, having oh. having your spot, your ticket to the finals, you know, almost secured, and then then what? it's gone, and it's your own fault. It's your own fault. That's what I <laughs> That's was trying to get at. That's the worst part. Oh. <laughs> he has got to feel horrible about that. Um, Yes, I, he might have gotten too excited about uh, finding a chink in the armor of RRX <laughs> and possibly thought RNG would have made mm. the same mistake. He but. may have been feeling invincible right. and then paid the price. Uh, and just for anyone following along with our leaderboard, the challenge column is how many points are being awarded in this challenge phase. So X-Ray, with the successful challenge of RRX's submission, earned 50 points and then... <laughs> After that, lost 25 for the unsuccessful challenge, knocking him into that fourth place position again. So, for a net of 25. So yes, still, net of 25. Still has 25 points earned. Oh, oh. We, have, we have another burn here. Scott Wu Scott, has clawed in the third place. Scott Wu has found... Found Kuniaski a, has been an defeated error. by Scott Wu. Wow, I Scott know Wu. Scott was really trying to fight oh, his wow. way in. And it looks like he has... He also has pushed our defending champion out of... Uh, third place as well so oh I gotta go to the chat for this this must you guys must be lighting it up so we may be yes. seeing so yes oh um, RNG has defended once again wow so who and I believe that? it was x-ray because he now has zero, zero points. points so x-ray so uh, we tried again 
Yeah, he wanted to earn back those 25 points and then some and make his way in. So at this point, the only way RNG is getting in is if he successfully challenges something. Uh, the 50 points will make a difference. Is defending uh, not... I, I felt like defending earned you points as well. Is no, that not the defending case? does not earn you points. Okay. Uh, because you're oh, not it wasn't your fault. Yeah, anything. exactly. Yeah, so defending just means, hey, my code works. You go away. Yeah. You go. You lose your 25 points and get out of here. <laughs> This and is like one of the, like, of that. Uh, there's a lot of action happening here, on, uh, you know, in this round. Um, very exciting. Yeah. Who says coding isn't awesome? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a good time oh, here. Right. We have people huddled around the uh, leaderboard as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what you see here also is, um, is that these aren't the final results either. It still mm -hmm. has to go through system tests. Um, so... Yes, you see XU, DYH, RRX, and Scott Wu in the top three, but if they don't pass a system test, uh, they will get a score of zero for the ones that they don't pass, um, and, and it could change the game. So, uh, you know, you have other people essentially debugging your code and trying to break it. Um, so if they stand true, it will... Uh, it looks good for you in the final mm -hmm. result. Now, I am very surprised that uh, no one has successfully challenged XUDYH or RRX. It could be because of how complicated the problem was. Perhaps they didn't understand it well enough themselves mm -hmm. to challenge it and risk uh, either losing, uh, risk losing points. Mm -hmm. Look in there, the, uh, the, there's uh, some people gathered around the monitors watching the challenge phase play out just like you guys are with us. Live look at the top quarter arena there. Uh, algorithm competition having down at the far side. I believe every competitor who's going in tomorrow's semifinal round is gathered around the monitors watching how everyone's doing and trying to gauge how challenging those questions are. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I feel as though um, Scott Wu, in this case, um, is playing it uh, pretty uh, tightly now because I think he's seen what's happened to X-Ray. He doesn't want the same thing to happen to him because mm -hmm. uh, losing 25 points would, well, it would still keep him in the third place spot, but uh, you don't want to risk it. Right. Risk any point sauce. We're looking live at RNG 58 screen right now, seeing the activity there or, or lack thereof. Looks like he's just reading through XUDYH's submission, but he, he doesn't see uh, an opportunity there. He's now moved on to Scott Wu's 250 point problem, looking to knock him back out of the top three. Any damage done to Scott's score by RNG would put him back into the finals. Right, you are. Wow. That's uh, that's a good round. That's a good challenge round as we approach the final uh, minute and a half or two and a half minutes. Sorry, of the round. Uh, I guess there's so much activity. Going now, if on. you want to like uh, move to the arena camera, you can actually see a bunch of people surrounding. I believe. Oh yes. Six U D H, and they're they're scrutinizing. They're tr they're trying to code along with them in their head. And they're I, like, I feel like I need to get the telestrator out and start drawing circles oh, yeah. on the... Uh, <laughs> All right, John Madden, easy uh, now. <laughs> uh, on the screen here to point out what's going on. Going back to our leaderboard, seeing uh, currently not much movement. And um, yeah, so I mean, that, that move from Scott was huge. Even, even if uh, X-Ray still had those 50 points from the challenge, he still wouldn't be in with Scott's uh, successful challenge of his code, so. Uh, or, or of uh, Kuniaski's code, rather. So, good, a strong move by Scott. He knew he had to come through with a good challenge in the clutch, and uh, I, I mean, I'll have to thank him. He's gonna come help us out on the stream tomorrow uh, when he's not competing, and he's keeping this super interesting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> by being absolutely. A, by being scrappy and fighting for every every point that he can. Let's see if he's uh, going to let let it be as we look at Scott Wu who's still reading through some of the question here looking at RNG's 250 bouncing right out of there <laughs> he's, he's like he probably saw that first line I was like oh no I read this one already right. I know. and my uh, my thinking here is that since he isn't attempting to challenge the 500 or 1000 he doesn't feel comfortable enough uh, with those problems to actually warrant a successful challenge on mm -hmm. them so he's uh, uh, I believe found or, or has thought about a, a use case that a lot of people may have not thought about and he's looking through everyone's 250 problem in order to burn them. Mm -hmm. 
So coming back to the leaderboard, we're now at 35 seconds remaining in the challenge round. We're going to stay on this leaderboard the rest of the way, um, see, see if we have any last minute desperation attempts. You have to imagine RNG is thinking, I have to do something. Yeah, yeah, you want to defend your crown. Well, at the same time, Ooh. this is a great opportunity to talk about system testing. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, the, the so. fact that they're not going after the, the 500,000, they may be relying on the system test to break it yes. itself. So as we close in on the end of the challenge round, we're five seconds left, four, three, two, and one. No additional challenges coming in. We have our top three for now. You can hear the applause in the top quarter arena as uh, everyone gives up credit for the uh, intense competition with a lot of movement on that leaderboard. Now begins the final phase of an SRM. So we're gonna cut back to the studio feed here. I'm Will Price, joined, as always, by Nick Castillo. I'm sweating Best here. Best right-hand man. This is crazy, man. This is, that, that whole round was crazy. I, I loved it, though. Yeah, no, that was very exciting. Uh, so what's next is the system test. Okay. So, Nick, are you familiar with the system test round? Uh, not particularly. So uh, oh, You it, are, but uh, it, that was nice. I'll, 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 I'll talk through <laughs> it. So right now, we are going to run thousands of system tests on each uh, each submission here and we're going to share the leaderboard as that happens uh, and the results are revealed so uh, let me it's probably easier to talk through this with the leaderboard on the screen so here um, you can see everyone has points for what they have submitted to uh, and then you know if they lost they may have lost points or gained points on challenge the only points on this board right now that are for sure are Scott Wu's 50 points every submission needs to pass system testing to actually realize those points uh, if you fail during system testing, you're going to see the points you scored go up in smoke. So but you got to keep that in mind here, especially since we saw two challenges successful on the 250-point uh, question. You know, there is a risk that the system might find it because, you know, in 10 minutes, these guys can do a lot, but a computer running thousands of tests right. in, uh, in, in a couple of minutes can do a lot more damage, too. Uh, so... That's to those, really going to be the great equalizer. To those unaware, um, yes, the system tests were running a thousand challenges. The reason that um, the, these competitors have the points they currently do is that they were able to pass probably like around a hundred different uh, inputs to, into their code. Um, they successfully, uh, you know, managed to solve those uh, particular use cases. Now, yes, uh, will they've solved that? They're on the board, but they have to pass all those thousand. Uh, cases now so anything can happen I um, wouldn't be surprised honestly to see RRX or XUDYH um, fall from the top three that, that I mean that would certainly make our jobs easy we have a lot to talk about <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh we have we definitely have a lot to talk about but I am sure RNG 58 is going to be very uh, concentrated and uh, he's, he's waiting for the results to come in because mm -hmm. He's on that bubble. Yeah, he needs one of them to fall. I know. If you see us glancing to my uh, to my left here, so because we're looking at the leaderboard to see if anything's uh, happening right now, system tests are currently running. We're expecting the results within five. I'd say ten, ten minutes, minutes is yeah. the is the long end. Right. Yeah, five to ten minutes. We should have the results. Nick will run away to go uh, get on stage and make sure. some uh, announcements about the winner. So we'll, we'll definitely bring you uh, bring you that and some reaction from inside of the arena as everyone is able to uh, you know see see how this plays out. Now I might have to turn one of the mics over just to get the crowd noise if uh, <laughs> something big happens. Oh, I'm sure you won't even have to. They'll, they'll be loud enough and it'll get picked oh, up here. That's totally true. Um, I want to mention that RNG's 236. Now imagine imagine this he has the most points in that bracket so if xudyh falls rng would surpass him that that 227 that xudyh has um would not save him in the event that he loses that 340 so uh big it two, that 236 is really big now yeah no i mean this is I, I don't know. I, there's no way to call this one. This yeah. one's just too close. Right? Too many scenarios like, yeah. that could happen. As too well. many variables. It's almost like we need an algorithm to figure it out. Hey, uh. Hey. <laughs> I thought I was the one that's supposed to make all the bad jokes. Oh, uh, no. I got, I got a little bit. <laughs> I have a responsibility to the people as well. There you go. <laughs> so as we wait uh, for the system tests to complete on SRM semifinal round one. Uh, as you mentioned, too, 
as the challenge phase goes up, so do the viewers. And we're all we're up to about 40 viewers uh, waiting to see who's going to oh, make it to the finals. On Facebook, that's it. On Facebook, that's yes. It. Facebook needs to step up. We have uh, 70 people with us Whoa. on Twitch right now. All right, so. well, as long as we have the viewers, I feel like we're in good shape. And a couple comments <laughs> in the chat. Just kind of, I'm, I'm going back backwards a little bit. This yeah. is probably a little old, uh, but I did love... Uh, Vic Fred, OMG, RNG58, stop playing with my heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> RNG, I feel like, does have a big following. Uh, so a lot of people pulling for him in this round. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he's the defending champion. It would be... That would be... If he doesn't make it, that's two consecutive years in a row that the defending champion doesn't even make the finals. All right. All Nick right. is being summoned. That means that something's Time going down go. very soon. All right. Soon. Let's get these results, guys. Oh. All right, I, w I will be switching to the venue audio feed right now as we uh, get some results coming in on the algorithm competition. So stay tuned, and we will have that in just a moment. I, can, I know this because the screen changed. When the screen changes, that's how you know something big is going on. So we're about to get those system test results. Also, if Nick's not here, that usually means something big is going on. He's a very important guy around Top Coder Open. So stay tuned with us. We'll have those system test results for you in just a moment. I just realized that there's no sound going on. I don't want and nothing happening on the screen. I don't want you guys to think that uh, that we're leaving. No, system test results are inbound. Uh, Nick has been pulled away from the desk for just a moment uh, to go up on stage and make some big announcements. Uh, hoping to see him up there any moment now. So bear with us, and uh, I'll give you a little uh, little shot of the arena while we're waiting on that to happen. Maybe oh, Nick is approaching the stage. The one-man show continues as I run up and man the, uh, the, the external camera. Oh, we're about to get into it, and I will uh, hand it over to Nick, and uh, we'll get these results in. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. We have the results, our first results here for the algorithm semifinal. Six people came in, three move on. Let's see the results. X-ray submission has held up through the system testing on the 250 points, 204 points for X-ray. RNG has survived RNG system test as well. Locked in now at 236 points. Now the big one where we can see the most action. Scott Wu going through testing. Scott and he Wu. did it. Scott Wu will make the finals with his 278 points and the successful challenge catapulting him into that position. RRX. Oh, RRX. 1,000 point submission has failed the system test and he has dropped out. RNG is back in the top three. All right. And, and XUDYH with a dominant performance Scott in the Wu. first X -U -D -Y -H round of the semifinals of the, the SRM finals. competition. XUDYH, the only person to submit to the 500 point question, <laughs> coming, in, coming in strong there. 
So our finals tomorrow, uh, our finals will consist of XU, DYH, Scott Wu, the funding champion RNG58, and then we'll find out the uh, remaining three competitors tomorrow during the second SRM uh, semifinal round. So lots of exciting stuff. The final algorithm round will be on Tuesday. Please check the broadcast schedule if you would like to see uh, <laughs> when the exact time is that you will see these competitions. He came down from stage super fast. I feel like he has strong feelings about what just happened. Holy Nick's moly. Back. <laughs> did I call it or did I? I think everyone kind of maybe expected something to happen. Um, it was the most likely thing to happen, right? The 1,000 point problem, super hard. I mean, it's, it's great that he was able to actually submit it um, correctly for those tests that were tested against, but I guess he missed a couple um, areas of solving that issue. Right, so. I mean, I'm actually a little surprised that it didn't get challenged successfully the way everyone was probably targeting it, but uh, they just but, let the system test yeah. to its job, and you know, there, some strong uh, challenging from Scott Wu, catapults him in the second place, uh, and then RNG58 He lives another day. By the skin <laughs> his teeth. He lives another day. He makes day. it to the finals. Right. Uh, so a very exciting SRM round. Let's go to the chat and see some of the real reaction. Um, so, oh, I got some yeah. OMG RRX. Oh, uh, I know. They, RRX really had a roller coaster round he here. Did. Didn't he did. He made uh, it exciting, though. Yeah, you gotta he, give him he that. spent most of the round in the basement, climbed to the top, and then fell from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, awesome. that happened, but um, again, he, he did make it a spectacle. Mm hmm. All right. Well, everyone who's uh, watching us in the chat, I see we're at 71 viewers. That's excellent. Very Thank cool. you all for tuning in. I see some congratulations and messages going out um, to, to a couple people. Looks like uh, uh, Hyun H. Waj. Sorry, I probably got your name terribly wrong. But uh, yeah, so the first two uh, do advance, but the third one advances as well. There is no wild card. There is no elimination bracket. Right. So in today's round, uh, it was Scott Wu, uh, sorry, XUDYH in first place. Scott Wu coming up in second place. RNG58 surviving in the third place position. They will compete in the SRM finals on Tuesday. We have our first three, and tomorrow we will find out who the next three are. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, it'll be awesome. Actually, you know, I was talking to uh, Saiho a little while ago, and he's ready to come on if you have him. Oh, good. I was actually just about to uh, put us on commercial while we oh, wait for him. But you sure. know what? No, well, we'll let's... Uh, so first of all, for anyone who doesn't know, if sure. you've been watching us at all today, Saiho uh, finished the marathon match in the top position. Just like with the SRMs, it's not a guarantee that he's going to hold that position yeah. after the system testing. We Absolutely. saw how that works today. But uh, currently the leader in the clubhouse, uh, and he uh, he's so kind. He comes on every year afterwards and tells us what he thinks about the problem. So uh, and he is currently sitting in first place. So yeah, this so will be a good it'll be, insight it'll be a good chat. I think we'll uh, we'll talk to Saiho and then we'll, we'll probably call on tonight. But Sounds I think good. you guys should stick around and hear what Saiho has to say about the marathon match today that had a lot, <laughs> just as much movement as uh, as the SRM did, and that's not common. Exactly. All right. Uh, stay, hang on with us. Uh, we just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, and we'll go grab Saiho. All right, we'll be back good. in just a moment. I guess.